I don't want to make light of the situation because, of course, we're here 700 years to the day since Wallace's capture. And it makes me actually put my mind back in what transpired here 700 years ago this very day. And you think how it must have been. We don't know the time. It's probably during the night that Wallace was actually pulled out into the into the, the night air. And he wouldn't have known, of course, what was going to happen from here. He would have probably have been surprised to, to find that he was going to go all the way to London in a show trial. And his butchery. But I'm quite sure his, tra his captors, even on the way down the road to London, wouldn't have been slow in telling him what fate lay in store. But we're here to remember Scotland's greatest patriot son. And it's a poignant moment for me to stand here and think how these seven centuries have passed. Wallace matters to Scots today because the situation has not changed. Wallace fought against Scotland being ruled from England. Today, Scotland is still ruled from England and London. So not an awful lot has changed in seven centuries. The one thing I can say about Wallace was that he was born in a free Scotland. When Wallace grew up, Scotland was in charge of its own destiny. He saw that change in his lifetime. And the only thing I can hope for here is that we can reverse that. And I would like to think that in our lifetimes, Scotland again will resort to being a free nation. We can rewrite history. It's within all our capabilities to do it. I don't know what the weather was like in the day. As you can see, it's windy. It's overcast today. Good weather for walking, I've got to admit. I'd rather it was like this than it was hot. But I'm sure the weather was the last thing in Wallace's mind on the 3rd of August, 1305. Scotland matters to me. I know it matters to all of you. And I know it matters to you the way it did to William Wallace, and we should never forget that. It burns in our hearts and it burns in our souls. The problem in Scotland today is what myself and friends call the Scottish cringe. This self-loathing that resides within Scots. My phone went non-stop this morning because people didn't know how to find this monument. It's not signposted, there's nowhere to park, and yet it's a monument to the capture of Scotland's great patriot son. We should wake up in Scotland. There should be pride again in Scotland. And my hope is that instilling the spirit of William Wallace back in Scotland, that some sort of pride will ensue. I'd like to thank every single one of you for coming here today because I know what Scotland means to you all. And I think we should all reflect for a moment and think of the events that happened here 700 years ago and how the great man came to an end here. And I'd like to thank you all very, very much for turning up to see me off. Thank you. I did not close my eyes for the last time Under Caledonian skies with my good friends gathered all around me To say their last goodbyes But I will not be forgotten In the heart of every Scot I still live on Now it's time to fly The satire high my spirit's coming home They tore apart my body So I could not rise on judgment day But what they did not realize Is now I'll never go away I'm 
coming back to the land I love, to the people I hold dear, to Scotland, St. Andrew, and freedom. I'm coming home. My spirit's coming home I'm returning After all these years To Caledonia skies To the country I died for So that our nation Could survive once again to stand beside the people I hold dear For Scotland, St. Andrew And freedom I'm coming home, I'm coming home Back where I belong I'm coming home I'm coming home My spirit's coming home To Scotland St. Andrew And freedom Today we said that if it wasn't for William Wallace, then Scotland probably now wouldn't exist. And if it wasn't for David Ross, most of us would still be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say thanks, Davy, for waking us up? On behalf of all the millions of Scots who can't be here today, yeah. God bless you and safe journey. Yeah. Good luck, Davey. Cheers.